Well, I'm Nick Payne. I'm Isabel Payne. Alexander Payne. Um, well, I guess it, start, it started um, a few weeks before we started to notice something. Um, he was coming home from preschool and he was a little tired at the end of the day and he was very anemic looking. Oh, and he would catch a cough and the cough would seem to linger on. And nothing seemed to cure it. So they did a blood test on him and he went back to school. And two days later they called us, October 8th, 2008. And um, Your mother's birthday. My mother's birthday, You'll never yeah. forget it. Never forget it. And they said, where are you? And I said, well, he's in school. They said, well, you need to go get him and you need to go over to um, the Children's Hospital of Orange County in Chalk and um, get admitted. And then for me, the hard part was the 10 days uh, waiting for the diagnosis. That was tough. Because it could have been many, many things. We all get straightened out on what the diagnosis was and what we had to go through for the next three and a half years. Um, and when they lay that plan in front of you, you, you have so many questions and you just don't want to even think about it. All of this medical administration, all this insurance, everything that goes into taking care of a child who's going to be sick for this long. And suddenly you belong to a new family of friends, everybody who has gone through the same kind of pain, to have all the support. Um, and of course, all of the research that goes into this and, and how different it was 20 years ago versus now. And so going back to the hospital, um, we made friends with a lot of people there. The hospital personnel, all of the service, all of their support was just unbelievably good. And, and uh, we're just very grateful to have that it's so close. Um, and I think for me, participating in, in, the, in the run and, and making the biggest effort I could to make a difference made me be able to go through this. We got involved and they explained the program and we went to the kickoff and Alexander was there and then they all kind of wanted him to, to be part of the team as well so they chose him as the, one of the team on our teammates and then um, we signed up to do the, the marathon and then um, every Saturday from that moment on which was middle of April exactly a year ago um, we met for these trainings and uh, learned to know a lot of people. I think our team had about a hundred and some team members last year. And we started our fundraising. Our goal was probably about, it was I guess... 5,000 was our initial goal. Um, we started with 5,000 and we thought, you know, that would be, um, huh? that would be, we would do well if we got 5,000 because I think there was like a $3,500 minimum in order to go to San Francisco. I think we'd reached the 5,000 already before the kickoff. Yeah, when, <laughs> I when, think we had 8,000 already. Yeah, when we went to the kickoff, we were 8,000, and we just kept raising it and raising it and raising it. And um, by the time of the event, we were, I think we were 48 and a half thousand, almost 50,000, if you included a couple of late auction items that we did. So it went, and that was just through um, friends, family, and colleagues through email. My goal was everybody who's touched Guven in any way needs to contribute, whether it's one dollar or a thousand dollars, it doesn't matter. So it's, it's been an incredible journey and we're only halfway, but we're on the, we're on the good side now. We're with 18 months to go in the long maintenance phase. It's, uh, it's a tablet every day, a tablet every week, and a, and a shot in the chest every, every month, and then one in the lumbar puncture every 90 days. And with that, we'll be cured in 18 months. The boy of the year. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Good job. Yay! Give me five. Give me five.